and greetings to all the friends that I see on the list who have contributed or are ready to contribute to our work. The technology and language education for me has a clear relationship. Language use is now involving an increasingly intensified way resources based on technology. In fact, we, are, we can even talk of a new concept of literacy, which if not most of writing and reading nowadays, specifically young people, involves resources based on technology. Same goes for the communication concept. So we may in fact talk to speak of a new concept of education altogether, where technology is a resource to be referred to in a consequent and efficient way. In this way, we at the ECML, at the European Centre for Modern Languages of the Council of Europe, involve technology-based projects in our work. The aim of my introductory presentation is to present the work of the ECML in general and to present two projects specifically devoted to language learning, language teaching and technology. And we can start with a brief reminder of what the Council of Europe is all about. It is the oldest and geographically largest European institution currently having 47 member states and mostly known uh, for the work in the areas of human rights, legal cooperation, democracy and the rule of law. But uh, education is also on the agenda of the work of the Council of Europe. In terms of language education, we seem to see uh, now a broad understanding or agreement that linguistic and intercultural competences are not something in addition to the regular education, but rather provide the basis for a good quality education that eventually is a prerequisite for achieving the overarching aims of our work. Uh, it means intercultural dialogue, social cohesion, and democratic citizenship. The uh, way we are viewing our work is based on three aims that we are pursuing. The one is to promote the linguistic and cultural diversity in Europe. Uh, the other one is difficult to pronounce. We promote plurilingualism of citizens and in this way uh, propagate the plurilingual and intercultural education concept. In our work, the fact that Europe is linguistically and culturally diverse is not perceived as a problem to be solved, but rather is perceived as a, and an interesting asset, a potential to benefit from. And this is how we are uh, trying to shape a plurilingual and uh, intercultural education concept. We talk of plurilingual people living in increasingly multilingual societies, starting with the notion of plurilingualism as an individual ability to develop skills in and use more than one language. This, we consider, is a natural innate potential of human mind, but it needs to be supported in order to develop to the satisfaction of the individual and the satisfaction of the society they function in. The tools and documents that uh, have been developed in this respect at the Council of Europe uh, provide a whole set of interesting references. We start with the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages and its implementation tool, the European Language Portfolio. Recently, uh, at the Council of Europe, we have developed an autobiography of intercultural encounters that is broadening the notion of language and education and competences towards intercultural competences, meaning competences that are required to face the other, the unknown, the unusual. Uh, some interesting projects at the ECML itself, uh, like the European Portfolio for Student Teachers of Languages and the Framework of Reference for Pluralistic Approaches, meaning how to go about multilingualism in the classroom, and the plurilingualism of the pupils in such a setting uh, can uh, supplement the work at the headquarters in Strasbourg. The European Centre for Modern Languages was founded 15 years ago here in Graz, the beautiful city of Graz, as an enlarged partial agreement. Currently, we are supported by 34 member states. 
and heavily and very efficiently supported by the Austrian authorities all levels, on the level of the federal government, local government, and the city of Graz. We have developed network uh, in our member states. Our mission is to support language education policies and obviously to promote innovation and facilitate reforms in language teaching and learning. This is where technology can contribute quite a bit. We count on cooperation of a huge network of experts. We try to provide proper dissemination to the results of their work. And generally speaking, our aim is also to link policy making, research, and practice. The mission is quite clear. The format is very flexible. We started with a four year medium term programs. As, as the major format, but we are now moving towards shorter-term projects and specialized activities, support activities offered to the member states. Uh, in this, we are supported by national contact points in each of the member states, national nominating authorities who nominate participants to our events, and the experts uh, coordinating the project and conducting the activities. The activities are of many different uh, formats, uh, starting with expert meetings, ending with conferences, concluding our uh, activities or programs of activities. Uh, each uh, activity is equipped with an interactive online platform for expert communication, and this platform is a way to join uh, the work of each of our team, even if people don't belong to the nominated participants from each country because the uh, platform, the websites are accessible for anyone interested. The project results are published as books, CD-ROMs, internet materials and such. We are now uh, conducting or slowly moving towards the end of our current program entitled Empowering Language Professionals. Over 20 projects in this program in four thematic areas. The technology-based projects we placed in the strand devoted to continuity in language learning because we consider technology being an excellent tool to overcome the gaps between the educational stages and to provide continuity both on the level of the learners as well as on the level of the teachers and the schools. The objectives of the current program are, in brief, to enhance the competence of language teachers to encourage, initiate, and support networks, hoping that in this way the network participants can have greater impact on reform processes and contribute to better quality of language education in Europe. The best way to stay informed about our activities is obviously to subscribe to the Gazette, our newsletter that we publish twice a year, a new edition was just uh, published, so if you want to subscribe, here is the email address or the, the website when you can do it. And in this way, you will be fully informed about the developments at the Council of Europe, developments at our center, and elsewhere in related domains of language education. I would now like to switch to two concrete examples of our work, two projects that seek to develop approaches to deal with technology for the benefit of language education. The first one is on developing online teaching skills. The other one is on exploring cutting-edge applications of network technologies in vocationally oriented language learning. We can start with the first project, and now we would like to share some uh, documents with you. We start with the first project. Here you see how happy the team members of that project led by Ursula Stickler are working for uh, this topic. The project is developing an online platform, a Moodle-based platform for delivering teacher training at a distance to assist teachers in developing online teaching skills that they can then use in their classrooms. This uh, project uh, in, in, uh, refers to the needs of full-time teachers, but also to part-time teachers and freelance teachers, because uh, technology offers great assistance in these situations. This project has brought together a group of specialists in 
teaching languages to adult learners of all backgrounds. Their pedagogic expertise guarantees that the products are focused on best practice use of ICT, using technology as a means to support the development of communicative and intercultural skills. Probably best way to uh, present the project would be to show you a video that the coordinator of this project, uh, Ursula Stickler, recorded answering the question, how does this project contribute to the uh, profession uh, of a language teacher? What does it offer to them? Here is the video. The DOTS project DOTS is uh, called Developing Online Teaching Skills and it's aimed at language teachers, particularly part-time teachers who have to find a way to integrate online teaching into the normal language teaching practice. And uh, we are the, the team of experts, we are experts from different countries, from the UK, from Spain, Germany, Croatia and from Canada and eight team members are creating an online platform, a workspace uh, where the tutors, the teachers can find different activities to train themselves in using online tools for language teaching. So we are aiming at a, a basic training kit for language teachers, for online tools, uh, things that they can use by themselves, but also integrate into training programs if they want to do so. Uh, our project is based on a constructivist idea of, of teaching and, and learning, so we want to um, the, the tutors to work with the activities to learn by doing, by, by integrating the tools into the teaching straight away and try out what, what they can do with the tools and then evaluate that, reflect back on, on their practice and also share their, their experience on the, on the workspace. That's why it's important that the workspace is very interactive and a communicative platform. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ursula. This was a brief presentation of the DOTS project. Now I'd like to, to mention briefly the other project uh, related to vocationally oriented language learning. And this one is based on a work done in our previous programs. The coordinator, Tony Fitzpatrick, and his team in, at the beginning of the century developed a series of workshops called ICT for Impact. Uh, this project proved highly successful, and the website that they uh, produced uh, was widely acclaimed as innovative, informative, and useful. So it was only logical to look at this website one more time and update the, its content and develop new strategies for the practical implementation of the products and findings of, uh, of the ICT uh, for Impact uh, group. New links have been provided for teacher training and exemplar language learning modules are being developed by this team. And in this team, uh, I should probably note that Robert O'Dowd, who is on the list of the participants for this conference, uh, is uh, contributing greatly. So thank you very much, uh, Bob. And you may wish to say more words about this project tomorrow when you have your presentation in the morning. The evolution team has reviewed and updated the website and uh, has incorporated recent findings and developments in ICT in foreign language teaching and foreign language learning. They have also conducted a survey of the specific needs in this field in vocational and professional contexts. A system has already been put in place for introducing the use of ICT in this domain throughout Europe. They are about to finish the uh, user manual for multipliers who will address clearly defined problems identified by national authorities, providing specific workshops for a particular country or region to tackle perceived deficits. Uh, the website of this uh, team is worth looking at. It uh, provides all sorts of links uh, related to social web, to uh, testing and assessment using uh, resource to data-driven learning, blended learning. Uh, they also have issues, several issues of a newsletter, and which might be of interest to you, they have provided an interesting photo gallery documenting the typical Graz event. As you see, it all starts with a flight that hopefully uh, takes place nowadays. You know, 
and it goes all over the activities up to another flight back, transporting happy people back home safely. You can have a look at the beautiful views participants experience when arriving to Graz, follow their whole agenda of the meeting. Beautiful views on the city of Graz, Moor River, the uh, art gallery, the city center. With this, I would like to conclude, wish you a wonderful uh, conference, and uh, once again, thank you, Heike, for organizing this. Thanks a lot.